Hey, this is our, well, this goes to the blue of 14th Street and that wicked ass nigga, man. You guys, because because this whole thing was going against GMS. He's, you, uh, what you doing? You judging us, man. You trying to judge us out of your little faggot mind. Romans 2 and 1. Therefore, thou art an excusable old man, whosoever thou art that judges, for wherein thou judges another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judges doest the same things. Oh, you sitting there bringing up all this shit about us, or that's lies. You, who knows? Uh, Fort the Baloo, you probably dealing with the uh, faggot prostitutes, man. Damn, you probably got transgender, trans, vestite, homo uh, prostitutes in your house, man. And, and then uh, if you're going to accuse guys, name names, you know? Yeah. Say JoJo did it, and, you know, Pistol Pete did that, and this guy yeah. did that, man, you know? Yeah. And Sneaky Pete and guys like that, you know? <laughs> yeah. Now, they check this out. Savory this is the second verse, Romans 2 and 2. Because this is what Elder Gabar said, man. You know what, though, Baloo? Real soon, man. All right? But we are sure that the judgment of the Most High is according to truth against them which commit such things. We're pretty sure that pretty soon, Yahweh Bashan is going to get you, man. You on this campaign, smear campaign against GMS, against us, man. Pretty soon, Yahweh Bashan is going to get tired of it, man. And it's not even going to be funny no more, man. Pretty soon, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, something gonna happen to you, man. Something gonna happen to your ass, and then you ain't gonna, you, know, you ain't gonna see the 14th Street Israelite no more. And you know what? It's gonna be manifest what happened to you, man. Whether you get hit by a truck, whether you drop dead, okay? Yeah, you got that diabetes, man. You gonna end up in the hospital. We gonna hear about it, man. You gonna be in the hospital. What happened to the Blue? Yo, man, they had to cut off his arms and his legs. He's up in the hospital somewhere. You ain't going to be making no more. Something on my, something going to be on your mind, man. You're going to be up in the hospital. Oh, my goodness, man. Okay, that's what's going to be on your mind. And Mike, man, as far as you go, man, something real bad going to happen to you. Something real bad. Mike, listen to what I'm saying, man. Something bad going to happen to you. And that's why when at the camp that night when that little scuffle broke out, when one of the brothers got sick or whatever, that's why that Haitian, the Levite dude, punched you in the face, man. That little scum, you were the only one that got hit. Mm, Mike you were the only one that got hit. That's why you needed that. And then, and then he was, I got the fella, he punched me! Fuck, he punched me! Hey, he and then brothers are trying to. Oh, and then, you should have got, got a ra raspberry award, man. Damn. Hey, I got a scripture, if I may. If I may, uh, Luke 6 and 37. It says. <laughs> hey, this is for you, Baloo, 14th Street, King Kong Gorilla. And you, every time we call you a name, you get mad at that shit, man. That's why you, that's why you have that energy to make. And meanwhile, you ain't, you ain't, you're not even making videos about Esau. You're not even making videos about the so-called white man and all the wickedness that he's doing. You, you're not even doing that. You know, you're just on steady on GMS. Anyway, this is what Yahweh Shai said. He said, uh, Luke 6 and 37, judge not and ye shall not be judged. So you already judge us, all right, with your videos. You you trying to uh, uh, put uh, put it out there that first of all you're saying we're Edomites, which is is, is in violation of the scriptures. Right. It tells in the book of Daniel none of the wicked shall understand. Now we're known for bringing out the deep dark mysteries of Yahweh Shai. That's not given to no Edomite man. All right, no Edomite can do that. All right, no Edomite can bring out the deep dark mysteries of Yahweh Shai. Yeah, I got a scripture here. This is Proverbs ten and ten. Come on. It says. Uh, he that winketh with the eye that causes sorrow, but a pratting fool shall fall. Pratting fool. Prat look up the word pratting. Yep. And then, then the fall meaning in, in the margin, it says, or shall be beaten. All right. Pratting. Uh, yeah, pratting. Uh, the Hebrew word is uh, sapa, and it says uh, uh, language, speech. Oh, I guess a, that's a guy who talks a lot, like Ecclesiastes 10 and 14. He that is a fool is full of words. That's a prat and fool, a guy that talks a lot of shit, because it says language, speech. That's a, that's a prat and fool. Um, going back to uh, what Yahweh Shai said in Luke, Luke 6 and 37, judge not... And ye shall not be judged. 
So the Most High, how about Shimei Asha, is going to judge you, uh, 14th Street. Condemn not, which you already condemned us. You call us the Edomites. All right? Beginning fell to Taha, myself, you call us Edomites. You say we're Edomites. And like I said... Oh, an, he, calls, he calls us a cult, that we're not cult. teaching the truth. Yeah. Now, where are we not teaching the truth? Right. Show us, well, they say that the, the mark of the beast is not the chip. Right. Why are they saying that? Because they're saying a counter what was, or anything we say, they say they counter that, man. Right. You know? Right. But right. the, the most I going to get rid of you guys, man, very yeah. soon, man. Yeah. And then the word cult simply means it's from the Latin cultus, which means worship. That's right. All right? There's nothing sinister about the word, just like the word rape. But just like the ignorance that you guys are, the brutes that you are, you you, you you know you're just showing that you that you don't have the you don't have any uh, understanding, man. You're just brutes. You're your heretics. You're reprobates. All right. Uh, Luke six and thirty seven. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. So you you don't merit that fourteen streets. So the Lord's going to judge you, man. He's going to judge you. It's the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 22, verse 22. It said, If thou hast opened thy mouth against thy friend, fear not, for there may be a, a reconciliation, except for braiding or pride or disclosing of secrets or of a treacherous wound. For, for these things, every friend will depart. So pretty much the Spirit's going to move on you because that's not something you're supposed to be T telling everybody, man, that's straight up backstabbing what you did, which we're not ashamed because that's nothing new. If you go, we always said it was okay. We went, had videos, we broke it down about dealing with prostitutes and all it. So, what are you really? How are you putting this on blast? Yeah. What, 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 is, what new are you saying? And, and, and if I may say this, that's how I know. The, like what Elder Ricard just said, the Lord is really gonna fuck you up, man. Okay, the Baloo is gonna get it. All right, but you're gonna get it just maybe even more, man. Yep. You know, you fucking gerbil, because you was you was up you was up in this thing, man, and nobody did no wrong to you and everything. And it's the spirit because this it's, it's, uh, sit down we did last night. The elders are saying pretty much the same thing that we said last night. We were talking about you last night. The same thing, <laughs> and, and and like Elder Tar said, the mother brought they gonna put you on blast, man. All right, you was the last nigga that should you know call yourself mouth. open your mouth, man. Yeah, you was the last nigga, man. Yeah. Like I said, you was nothing but a fucking a gerbil, man, from West Africa, man. All right, you was a little feeble ass nigga, man, and the Lord kicked you out because we don't need no feeble niggas in the and camp. And you know what? He thought he was better than us, man. Yeah. Because he's Nigerian, even though they're Israelites. You know, the Nigerian Jakes think they're better than the Jake. Well, they well the night the term Akata is really from the Nigerians. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. You know, That's right. That's right. Yep. which means a cat, you know, like a wild uh -huh. cat, a wild cat out in the street somewhere. You know? Yeah, it's a, yeah, like a nigga. Like a, yeah, and yeah, if I may say this too, now you talking about that this, these brothers are bringing in prostitutes into the house. I mean, were you there? Did, did you see them buy the prostitute? Do you see them all actually go and pay? Yeah, did you see the exchange? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, how do you know she was a prostitute? And all these women are goddamn prostitutes, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, basically, man, you was hating, hating on them brothers, man, because you couldn't get no pussy. That's what in the scriptures tell you in the pocket for about a man that don't, you know, get a that don't have a wife go off, up moaning up and down moaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was you. That's why you always had that f funny spirit on you, man. That's, right. that That's was all that yeah, backup, all that backed up all baby all batter. All in his, all in his back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kicked yeah. Up, man. Yeah. Kicked yeah. Up. yeah. See, you wicked man. That's why we bringing out the scriptures on you. Like Elder Tahar said, the, yeah, every once in a while you need a lube job. You need a lube. That's right. right. Which you can't. You, you get didn't your get oil change and shit. But you know what, them brothers, the young brothers that was you were staying with, well, they, well, they, uh, they already saw the videos. I know, so those videos will be up pretty soon, cause Karab is the one who uh, put us onto it. So yeah, you know this nigga talking shit and showed us the video. So if Karab got it, that means them brothers in the camp, they got it. So you know, and then last night the spirit had it where the brothers from the other states was there. We did the sit down last night over here by uh, uh, the studio, Elder Soccer Runs, and um. Them brothers from Chicago and the other states is funny. Now they, some of them brothers know, kind of know him by way of the internet because you know different brothers was corresponding and whatever. So they was like, "Oh, that brother, that brother." Said, we thought he, that brother was cool back when they was first. They kind of came up together uh, by way of the internet. Brothers was emailing and communicating. 
and stuff like that. And they got mad as hell. They got mad as hell. You know what? The brothers not not only are these brothers gonna get you, the brothers from the other states gonna do videos on you, man. Yeah, because them brothers in the in the main camp in New York, they were saying that you know the guy he looked humble, you know he played the part, but when he was around them brothers, you know away from the spotlight, he was totally different, you know. And I will let them brothers tell it. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, right. He, he, he really thought he was better than than us because he was.